and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be working on another paint board. This time it's a square one and again I'm going to be working on the reverse side of this board. I've got a fair idea on what I want to do but I'm going to start off with the base and then see what happens next. So I'm going to start out by applying some gel medium to the back side of the board. I'll actually use I'll use a palette knife and then I'll go into the corners with my brush in a sec. I am going to add paint to this but I just want to put a base of gel medium down first before I add the paint. And this just will just help the paint flow a little bit easier but also add some texture. So I'll just take that into the edges. No, actually I think I'll take it up the sides. That way I'm not worrying that if some of the sides has some medium creeping up it, it'll all have it so it'll be uniform all the way around. I'll just turn it around make it a little bit easier. So for this I'm going to start with some Payne's Grey. You know, some Payne's Grey and some white. So I'm going to do half and half. I quite like to work in that way. So I'm going to have some Payne's Grey over here, white over here. So I'll start off with the white side first, just making sure we've got a good covering of white and I'll take it up the sides as well. I quite like the shiny, glossy look you get with gel medium. So we've done the white and now to move on to the Payne's Grey. So again I'm going to take it up the sides. I love this grey colour, I think it's fabulous. It's got a hint of blue in it. And it's quite um it's quite a nice colour. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to blend these colours together. So I think I'll put some pop some gloves on and then I'll blend them together. So starting with the white, I'm just going to mix them together. Now don't worry if you get paint on the top because we can wipe that off in a second. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dab the surface just to get, I might use the bigger one actually, just so you can get a nice stippled effect. So what we're going to do next. So I'm going to go with a lot of clears and maybe some black stone. So I have some mirror chips. I also have some clear marbles. I've got some opaque glass beads. And I've got some black gravel, like glitter gravel. So let's have a little think about it. So I think I'll probably start, so I'll just turn this around because what I want to do is I want to go with the one side being lighter and one darker so I'll have the elements going across the center. So I think I'll start off with the 
glass marbles. So I'm just wondering whether to put a touch more. I think I'll put a touch of gel medium on the back just to give it a little bit of extra glue before sticking it down. That way it's go it's it's not gonna just jump off. So I'm just gonna add a touch of extra gel medium on this this side and then place the marble into the frame. So I'm thinking I might go start off quite wide here and then go a bit thinner and then maybe have some glitter, uh, sorry not glitter, um, mirror chips around it with some black maybe. And I generally, if you've been following my channel for a while, I don't always have a clear plan on what I'm going to do. I normally have an idea on what I'm going to do. But quite often my, my ideas change as I develop because I might see something and think oh this will work better or that will work better or that's not going to work at all so that's what I have a tendency to do so that's probably about as high as I want to go at that edge and I'll start now these are perhaps not as clear as I would have liked but um, such is life so I think now what I'll do is I'll go on to add in some mirror chips here so it'll just add a little bit of, or oh, should I go with the, the black, is the black going to work on there? Probably not, so I'll leave that one and I'll go with some of the mirror chips. So I'm actually going to add a touch more gel medium around the edges here just to give the chips something to stick to. And yes, you know, there is gel medium on here. However, I just want to make sure that we've got plenty for the chips because we don't want them falling off unnecessarily. So I'm just going to pop that around the edge. And don't worry too much about messing up your design because you are going to add the glass chips on there anyway so and I'm thinking I might actually have some marbles moving up and coming across the frame as well okay so let's put the chips on and see maybe we'll have this coming up a little bit more okay so let's apply the chips and see what happens so I'm just going to spoon these on to into the gel medium here now this these chips I actually got from Bunnings now they've got um, a white back to them uh, on the silver side whereas if you get them from Ikea they have a dark side so that they were they will work well as well now obviously when we this is dry some of these chips will come away but you can stick them back on with some more gel medium so that you can still get the depth so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to push them in to the gel just to help that stick but also I can push them underneath the into the stone areas where the marbles are and just push them in just need to wipe Got a little bit and then you can use the spoon to help push that into the gel medium and help push it around a little bit so that you get the majority of them sticking in the mixture. I 
And like I say, some will come away, but we can sort that tomorrow when this is dry. Okay, so I'm liking that so far. Yeah, I think I'll do some of the marbles up onto this area here. I just have them creeping up a little bit anyway. Now you need to make sure that you're touching all of the underside of the marbles as well, otherwise it won't stick. So, just trying to think what else. So I think what I might do is I might stick some acrylic diamonds in the gaps here just so that I've got something that these will bind to so that they won't easily fall off. So I'm just going to stick some gel medium into the gap. and then stick some of these so as you can see I've put some gel medium in that area there and I'm just now going to put some of these if it stick into my fingers to push them into there and then using the back side of this you can actually pick up some of these and place them into that area and that's just going to cover those the gel medium so that you've got a nice sparkle once it's dry because as I've mentioned before gel me this gel medium dries clear so you won't see this you'll see the marbles underneath but you'll get extra reflections happening and by adding this extra bit it, it doesn't then feel like it's they're just plonked on top it looks like it's they're actually flowing down if that makes sense so I think I'll stick a few more of the acrylic diamonds onto this area here just to add a little bit more sparkle but I'll leave these ones open so that you can see them so I'll just place some of them in there so what I've decided to do is add some silver in here. So I'm using some silver spray paint which I have sprayed into a little dish. And now using the back side of the palette I'm actually going to drag this across the surface here just to get some silver happening. and I'm just dabbing it across the surface just to not disturb the texture too much they don't want a hard line and that's the beauty of working with this still being wet that we can develop it as we're going because that's how my mind works I tend to get these ideas. I have a, a, a basic idea on the colours and things I want to use and maybe the stones and things I want to use but then it comes down to working on it as I go and with it being wet I can then blend areas that I don't like so that was looking a little bit too silver there so I've just blended that back in. So now let's come over this side. Now you can't see the silver so much on this side so it's just going to be a case of when the you'll see it when the light hits it. And don't worry if you picked up some of the colour from over there and you're placing it over here, it's fine. Because I just think that adds to it as well. I'm actually going to pick up a little bit more because I like that. 
So I'm going to call this one done. I actually quite like how it is and then we will come back tomorrow and tidy up any areas that need any extra glue and we'll see how that looks tomorrow. Welcome back. So it's the next day and now we're going to add some more elements to it. So we do have some loose mirror chips in here that I'm going to secure with some more gel medium but I've decided I'm going to add some more elements to it. So I'm going to add some more mirror chips but I'm also going to add these balls also. So these are, um, let me show you. So these are Tusk from Tuscan Path and they're mini marble black. Now they're not actually um, full on black because they've got like a mirror finish to them so they'll go well with this colour over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue these around here just to add a little bit of extra interest but I'm going to extend the mirror chips out a little bit and perhaps add a little bit more silver. So for this I need some more gel medium so I had this in a bag to stop it from drying out overnight so it saves wasting this and so now I'm, do Ooh. I'm just going to add some more gel medium on top of the glass glitter and as you can see it starts to move around a little bit, well, that's fine because I'm just going to mix that up a little bit because I'm going to add more of the mirror chips to on top of these to raise it up a little bit. I want to add a little bit more depth to it. So I'm just going to make sure there's plenty on top there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of the gel medium to one side of the ball and I'm just going to stick it in next to the marbles just to add a little bit of extra contrast. So move that to one side. So now I'm going to add some more mirror chips to the top and rather than spooning it on with a spoon I'm actually just going to place them on by hand so that way I can push them into the mixture and not have too many pieces. As always I hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas for some new mixed media pieces of your own. If so please give it a thumbs up or better still subscribe to my channel. I will be bringing you plenty of other ideas for your art very soon plus I have plenty of other ideas to keep you inspired. So until next time bye for now.